Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. If you wish to join the Terrence family, punch the shit out of the subscribe button right now. After his grandmother is killed in a mafia hit, Daryl fashions a bulletproof overcoat to wear over his red long johns, becoming Blank Man, a superhero without any superpowers. This movie stars Damon Wayans as Daryl Walker, David Allen Greer as Kevin Walker, Robin Givens as Kimberly, and John Polito as Michael Minnelli. Right from the jump, when we see Kevin and Daryl as kids, they are big fans of the uh, Batman series uh, starring Adam West and Burt Ward. And that made me relate to them because when I was a kid, I enjoyed the Batman series starring Adam West and Burt Ward. It was so fun watching them figure out how to be uh, multiple steps ahead of the villains, beating the shit out of the villains, the whole pow and smack and getting thrown through the table and the walls and all that kind of stuff. It was so much fun. And Daryl, from my perspective, was an even bigger fan of the show than his brother Kevin. Because you fast forward to when they're adults, you have Kevin who works in like a news studio and Daryl is like Mr. Fix-It. Anything that breaks, he can fix it. It don't matter. Toaster, refrigerator, whatever it is, he just knows how to fix it. He's also an inventor. And uh, Daryl and Kevin, they live in a ghetto. A lot of crime is happening and stuff like that. The cops are lazy. Things get overlooked. And Daryl doesn't like to see anyone suffer. He wants to stop all this. And uh, Kevin talks to his brother Daryl. He's like, look, nigga, you're not Batman. You can't just be out there doing shit, fighting crime. You ain't got no money and shit. You ain't got no costume. You're going to die, nigga. Like, how is that going to make me feel? This shit is bad as fuck. And then Daryl just like, I've had enough. I got to help. I got to help. I got to do something. So he makes himself a bulletproof outfit. And then one night he goes out to try to help someone. And you got this guy just out there like, <clears throat> just smacking the shit out of this one bitch. He's like, I want my money. So I guess she was out there, you know, sucking dick. And then she didn't bring the money back. And this dude is upset. And then Daryl goes up to this guy like, I wouldn't do that if I were you. And then the guy's just like, what the fuck is the circus in town? Get the hell out of here, nigga, before I hurt you. And then he, and, <laughs> and fucking Blake man is just like, look, I don't want to take her place, but I will if I have to. And then he's like, man, what the fuck, nigga? Don't you know I'll slap you around like one of my bitches? And he's like, Blake man's like, well, slap me around and call me Susan. And then the, the dude just literally, pow, he just backhands the shit out of Blake man. <laughs> And then he literally calls him Susan, like, I told you, Susan, you silly ass nigga. <clears throat> and, and Blank Man is still there. He's getting his ass whooped. He ain't got no fighting skills. His brother, Kevin, luckily, he found him and shit because Daryl is extremely smart. But at the same time, he's one of those individuals where he's smart, but he's dumb as hell. How the fuck you going to be fighting crime and you don't know how to fight? Batman and Robin, they, they know how to kick ass. Daryl, he's smart as fuck. But you don't know how to fight. You're going to get into a situation. You're going to get beat to death. So luckily, he gave his brother Kevin a belt where he can follow him. It's like a locator and shit. And, and Kevin uses this locator to find his brother Daryl. And he sees him getting his ass whooped in the alley. And this dude even shot Daryl like a few times. But luckily, you know, he made the bulletproof outfit. Like I said, he's a smart nigga. But at the same time, he a dumb nigga. Because you need to know how to fight if you're going to fight some crime. Luckily, Kevin finds him, and then Kevin beats the shit out of the bad guy real quick doing, you know, martial arts, and then um, Kevin's just like, Daryl, I thought we talked about this shit. You can't be out there doing no superhero shit. You want to die, nigga? You lucky I was able to save you this time, and uh, Kevin and Daryl, their grandmother is awesome. She's a really nice black lady, uh, down to earth. She cares about helping the people of her community, and she's very much into politics and you know, just her back in the mirror and stuff like that. And uh, Michael Minnelli, this motherfucker, if you don't do what he wants, you're just dead as fuck. And, um, you know, unfortunately, Michael Minnelli is responsible for killing Daryl and Kevin's grandmother, you know, in this mafia hit. And, and Daryl just, that, that hits him hard, it hits Kevin hard. And I feel like that escalates Daryl wanting to be a superhero uh, even more, you know, just to to uh, make sure that nobody else has to suffer or die so he can stop this Michael Minnelli guy. 
And we do get to some point in the film where uh, Kevin becomes a uh, blank man sidekick. So now, you know, Daryl being the Batman and Kevin being the Robin, if you will, even though Kevin should be Batman and Daryl should be Robin, you know, just based off the fighting skills and shit. Even though Batman and Robin, they both know how to fight, but it's just, I feel like <laughs> Daryl's brother is more of, of the Batman, if you will. And his name is the other guy, like, at least Daryl got, like, a superhero name, Blank Man. His brother, Kevin, his superhero name is just the other guy. And I was just like, that's some funny-ass shit. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm gonna give this movie, I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. I think it's a solid movie. It's goofy as hell, but it's supposed to be. While it's goofy, it does... Um, respect a whole Batman series with Adam West and Bert, uh, Burt Ward. It's like it's paying tribute to the movie the entire time. You know, even when Kevin and Daryl, when they're fighting, you got the whole pow and smack popping up. I mean, it's clearly just a thing to respect what Adam West and Burt Ward did back in the day with those characters. And uh, the Daryl character, like I said, he can't fight to save his life. But at the same time, he's smart as hell. Uh, he created this robot uh, named J5. And that nigga was cool as fuck. Like, he could talk, right? He could really communicate with you, understand what you're saying. And then you just, like, kind of bang on him. And then, like, the fucking soda can will fall out of the bottom of him and shit. I'm like, J5 is dope. I'd love to have a J5 around. Like, just because this movie is goofy doesn't mean you should underestimate the intelligence of the Daryl character, you you feel me, like, someone can be really smart, and that can unfortunately be overlooked based upon appearance, how that person behaves, but Daryl got some real skills, you know, really intelligent brother, and his brother Kevin, he just be getting impatient, he just like, Daryl, you are a silly ass nigga, you're not gonna be out there fighting crime, why don't you go be normal like everybody else, and then Daryl's like, Kevin, how can I be normal when people are out there suffering, I got to do something about it, Kevin. Remember Batman and Robin? And then he's like, this silly nigga mentioned Batman and Robin. That shit ain't real, Daryl. Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video, share it with your family, your friends, whatever humans you may know. Punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. And look, that Kimberly chick, she bomb as hell. I would love to fuck the shit out of her. Like, and her scenes with Blank Man, because Kimberly, like, being this news reporter and shit, and she falls in love with Blank Man, and Blank Man falls in love with her, and their scenes together are fucking priceless. There's a scene where she kisses that nigga Blank Man, and this motherfucker just on the spot was having this massive orgasm, and he busted, like, five nuts in a row. Like, it was the craziest reaction I have ever seen from being kissed by a hot woman you know, especially a hot black woman, like, I was like, you know what, I don't think I would have that response, but I understand it, especially since this shit is goofy as hell, but I love the characters in this movie, even the difference between Daryl and his brother Kevin, so I appreciate you being here, you know, like this video, share it with your family, your friends, whoever you know, and then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Terrence out.